Hello everybody, this is Joseph Smithson. Welcome to my Python Mastery Series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and work with our own modules in our local machine using Python. Okay. Modules or packages are actually nothing more than traditional file and folder structures. As our lines of code, functions, or code blocks we use increase, the need for modules increases as well. In fact, modules are structures that make our lives easier. Okay, let's create a package structure and modules in my local machine. First, let's see our current directory, pwd. Yes, my current directory is tutorial for folder. Okay, let's jump to tutorial for folder here. Yes, the current directory is here. Okay, let's go inside it. And I have created a folder for you to uh, deal with the packages and modules in this lesson. So, upper package, let's say our upper package okay this is simple folder yes let's click on this okay as you see we have two more inner folders which is our packages inner packages right okay let's see the inside of package one okay we have two modules modules you know uh, a python files with extension py okay let's open the first one with notepad text editor of course yes this is our module one we have doxy drink an explanation at the top of the module and i create two functions the first one and the second one okay let's see the other one this is our second module inside the package one okay the same doxic drink and the other two functions that i defined for you before this video okay so let's go back to package upper package and yes let's see the package two this is the folder another folder and we have another two python files actually they are modules right Let's see the third one. Excuse me, let's see. Okay, this is the third modules that I have created for you. And of course, we have two functions here and the doxytron at the top of the module. Okay, and the last one. Let's see. And the last one, okay. This is our fourth module. This is simple txt file and the extension with py makes, makes this file, of course, Python file. If you want to work with packages and modules we created without any confliction or error, we need to initialize them. And how we do that? Let's see if you want. We have to create another Python file here. Let's use the simple text document. And the name of this Python file should be should be underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Let's change the extension to py. Okay. Yes, we created uh, this file is our initializing Python file, which we need to put this file inside all packages. All right. Let's initialize the package one first, my package, and we can copy and paste, of course, 
the empty file. Only we create an empty Python file, but the name of the file is important and matters here. So let's copy and paste inside this package one. Okay, paste. And let's paste here again. Okay, and we are ready. We create our package structure. We have upper package and we have inner packages, which are package one, package two, and we have four modules, okay? So let's import and use the modules we created just now on Jupyter Notebook. Okay. Let's begin. First of all, let's import from upper, excuse me, upper packages. Let's, yes, upper package. And import my package one and my package two of course yes i import it and another another line we need to let's say upper packages again and dot my package one i want to i want to import module one and module two so import my module one and my module two here okay and i import it as well so if we want to learn the specifications and the attributes of the packages we of course use their function okay there my for example package one and if i run it we can display the content and attributes of a package okay the package one includes module one and module two and attributes. This is default attributes for all packages. Okay, built-ins, catch, doc string, file and loader objects, the name of the package and full path of the package and specifications of the package. Okay, so let me open empty cell here and let's do it for do it for the same thing for the package two. So let me copy this one and we will import the package two here. Package two. And inside the package two, of course, we need to import module three and module four here. Yes, I import it. And at this time, let's take a look at my package 2 what is inside package 2 okay as you can see these are default attributes and inside the package 2 we have module 3 and module 4 okay and if you remember we create we define uh, several functions let's use these functions inside the modules for example let's say my module uh, my module 2 for example and dot if i hit tap button tap okay we have divide function and hello function let's use divide and 10 divided by 5 when i run it of course the result is 2 it works very good right we create our own module we create uh, and define a function and we use these functions very good okay and in this line let's use my module one for example dot and hit tap button we have addition function here if i use four and four and five the answer is nine of course the addition of four and five equals nine very cool so let's continue to use another module module three 
and hit the tap button, concatenate. Yes, we concatenate the string. Let's say Joss and the, another string to concatenate amps. So let's use, yes, we concatenate the string. We, we display, display Joseph, string Joseph here. Okay, let's use another one. Again, again, three and repeater. Let's use repeater at this time. If I pass into into this function Claris way, for example, Claris way, and if I run it, so I I forget to enter a integer here. I uh, I enter three here for an integer argument, and if I run it. As you can see, it repeats three times, of course. Okay. So let me show you let me show you some specifications. I mean some attributes of the modules of the, and the packages here. If I write here package one, for example, and underscore underscore spec attribute here. If I run it, as you can see on the screen all the specifications of the package one displays here the full path the name of the package and the loader objects memory space address everything okay and let's import the whole package import upper package and let's see uh, what happens what will happen upper package Yes, I import it and dir upper package. And if I run it, as you can see, these are default attributes. And inside the upper package, we have two packages, package one and package two, of course. And let's import, import directly the functions from upper package dot let's say package one and let's say module two and import directly hello function and the white function uh, which are inside the module two as you remember if i run it yes i import directly hello and the white function so if i can if i write here hello directly it displays the result okay Divide, divide, let's say 20 divided by 2 here. Of course, the answer is 10. Okay. At this point, uh, I'm going to show you the doxy string. For example, if we import the built in module math, for example, the built in modules, math modules, and if I want to display the doxy string of the math module, the underscore underscore doc underscore underscore, and yes, this is the doxy string of the uh, of the math module, built-in module. Okay, and in the same way we can display our modules. For example, let's print uh, module two, the doxy string of the module two here, module two dot underscore underscore doc underscore underscore and yes this is our doxy string of the module 2 so in this video we have covered how we can create our own modules or packages on our machine and use these created modules inside python script okay See you next lesson. Goodbye.